You're watching Three Pound Fishing, sponsored by these great companies. Hey folks, it's Matt from Three Pound Fishing and thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to be talking about the top four tips for live scope. That's right, when you're on piles, what are the four most important things to do while you're using live scope? Please do me a favor and subscribe and let's put some slabs in the boat. Did it, but I, you know, you just don't, you don't think about it when you're doing it. Pick one off that pile. So let's talk about some of the tips for live scope. You want that guy? That's a really big Yeah, it's a small one. Dinky, dinky. So we're going to talk about some of the tips for live scope, and this is going to be a great episode. You know, number one is... You want to manually set your live scope depth up. So if you're fishing, let me get you. So if you're fishing, you know, a prop pile at 10 foot, manually set your depth up to maybe 12 foot. You don't need to waste all that space on your screen. You know, obviously the screen is valuable <laughs> commodity when you're dealing with any of these electronics. This is really an easy process. All you need to do is go to menu hit depth range, and it goes maximize your screen by going to about a foot or two foot below wherever you're catching the fish. Number two, do the same thing with your forward view. So if you're fishing a brush pile, you really don't need 35 foot forward. You want to have something around 15. So we want to maximize, put that brush pile as big as possible on that screen. Again, this makes sense because instead of just maximizing your depth, you also want to maximize your forward range. You want absolutely everything you can on that screen and that'll show the absolute greatest detail possible by live scope. every lake you also want to this would be number three you want to adjust your enhancement so whether it's a clear lake or a, a, a colored lake a stained lake as people would call them uh, you want to adjust that enhancement to, uh, to clear up the picture what I meant by enhancement is actually gain on any unit so what you do is simply go to your menu menu select gain and when you start seeing the artifacts show up Obviously, that's not what you want. You want to get it just right below where they're showing too much artifacts. So I like a little bit of gain up, just a little bit, just because I think it does show fish a little bit better. I would like to say that I do adjust my gain probably every day. It just seems like it changes, and I'm tweaking it just a little bit here or there. But there is not a magic number for what gain should be set on for sure. All right, the number four and probably the most important is to add weight or add split shots, something that triggers the live scope to be able to identify your line. I think you know, it's really nice that some people can identify just the actual line itself, but by putting two weights on top of a hook or a minnow, it becomes fabulous. Check these images out, folks. 
I can follow my split shots down and as they're getting grabbed by a fish and move with the fish, I know I have a strike. Several times, and you'll see this in upcoming videos, I catch a fish not because I felt the bite, but because I saw these split shots moving with the fish. Never felt the bite, just saw the split shots on the screen moving with the fish. Now you're seeing all these images here where the split shots are moving down. That makes it easy for me to identify where I'm at on the screen. Very important. I'm not just looking for a line or a hook. I'm looking for two split shots and usually I can see my minnow moving around as well. scope right there. That's good fish. That's excellent crappie and everything. <laughs> the other thing that's interesting about that is it doesn't seem like they, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like they sit as still as you would you think they do. Yeah. Eh, we're gonna let that one go. Oh, oh, hey, great tips, live scope, can't beat it. Just a little couple, couple things that I've picked up on so far and I've only had it for a little bit, but man, this is a game changer, no doubt about it. Game changer. Bam! Ooh, that's a big wet. That's good. 